Hello and welcome back to 1001 Animal, your favorite daily break with an amazing story about animals and nature. Thank you for joining me and let's go. Part of the world we are focusing on currently is the African savanna, a vast ecosystem of tropical grasslands and pleasant warm temperatures all year round, with a rainy season happening in the summer. That being said, the favorite season of all the inhabitants of all shapes and sizes is the summer, of course. There are fertile times when the plants and grass provide good shelter from the sun as well as from predators. And that is exactly the most dangerous spot in the area. In the shallow waters, almost impossible to notice, lurks a predator scarier than grizzly bears. Not a shark, you're wrong. It's a crocodile. It will patiently wait for one or a whole herd of animals to come to the edge, exhausted from the hot day, and vulnerable as they are refreshing. A crocodile attacks at that very moment. When they are least expecting and getting them into the water is a joke to the croc. Crocodiles attack suddenly, biting the animal and dragging it to the water, to their territory, when they will spin and turn until the animal is dead. Crocodiles cannot chew their food, so they bite off pieces of the flesh and swallow. Even a large mammal disappears in just a minute. An unexpected pair cohabiting the same area, a buffalo and a crocodile are not highly fond of each other. They are aware of each other's strength and power, so they prefer to stay away. However, it has been seen that a crocodile attacks a buffalo because crocodiles will eat absolutely anything. Crocodiles and lions are another fairly distant couple, but exceptions prove the rule. And it is important to know that lions, prettier by far, are not the victims. They are known to attack and eat baby crocodiles, and crocodiles can smash a lion's head in one single bite. It is obvious that these two apex predators are holding grudges, but fortunately, they rarely act on it. The rain brings many joys and advantages to all of them, but also covers the crocodiles right there on the path they need to cross to go to the other side. That is the time of the utmost importance of their alertness, awareness and speed. If there is only one crocodile in the water, he will still not go hungry. Zebras are known to have the longest land migration on the continent and they are relying on their memory to find food, good locations and even predict the state of an area and supplies accordingly. Cheetahs, the fastest land animals, and wild boars, also known as wild swine or simply pig, are often engaging in fights. It is not a fair fight though, not by size or speed, but both of these animals are feisty and extremely aggressive when they are disturbed. A fun fact about these pigs is that they live in a system called matriarchy, where grown females have a dominant role. Needless to say, the cheetah kills the boar not the other way around. The cheetah is a species of puma and they are the only large cats in the savanna that hunts during the day. They can run at a speed of up to 120 kilometers per hour. The black lines seen down on the sides of their nose are protecting them from the sun and help enhance their sight to see longer distances.
From the warm sun in the savannah, we came straight to Canada to visit another unusual pair of enemies. And this one is the most surprising. I already talked about the importance of animals' abilities to adapt to the most extreme conditions and changes. If a leopard starts eating catfish, you can only imagine what is next. In these snowy areas, bison and wolves roam together, but not really together. As the food is scarce during the winter and many animals are hibernating in various corners, dens and caves, these two animals are staying away from each other. Logic could assume that buffalo is the hunter here, considering its size and reputation. Well, your logic is wrong, because the food is hidden or sleeping. Wolves are resorting to these big beasts to eat. Bisons are the masters of winter, hence the name, the Winter Survivor. Once the landscape checks out for the season and the area becomes empty and silent, bison start thriving. During these months, they develop thick woolly coats to prevent them from freezing. And not just that, they also have evolved digestive, physiological and behavioral strategies to be able to survive temperatures below zero and extreme living conditions in general. For wolves, the elk is the main food source, but as the number of plants that elk consume lower drastically, so has the elk number itself. The lack of elk, wolves chose to compensate for bison, and it has been like that for thousands of years so far. This will be all for today's video my animal lovers. If you like these stories, please subscribe and click the like button. I wish you a great day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Goodbye.